uh, out here in the, the the back country on this forest road here in this uh, beautiful fall woods um, with my buddy Sean. Hey. There he is. Hey What's going on? We're, we're gonna have ourselves a little uh, rainy camp. If you couldn't tell, it's raining. That's uh, that's kind of kind of been par for the course lately. That's fine. I love a good rain camp, especially in the fall. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. What are, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Uh, you're watching small plots with Kevin. That's what you're doing here. I'm Kevin. Uh, let me let me get together the rest of my stuff. We have a short hike through the forest to get to our site. We're gonna set up our tarp. We're gonna have some drinks. We have some nice fall views of the, there's a pond here that we'll be camping on. Very nice, very nice area. Other than the fact that locals have trashed it beyond recognition. But other than that, it's a very beautiful area. So let's just go do that. Let's go do that there. This is the site. It's a nice kind of a wide open site right on the pond. It'll be nice looking out the pond with the raindrops on it to remind us that it's raining. That's gonna be good. Right now we're trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna set up camp. Uh, there was a few places where it looked like the camp uh, ring had been moved around. We just tried to move the camp ring. It's like bolted to the forest floor with concrete so we won't be moving the campfire. So now we're trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do with the tarp. Because we want to be able to sit under the tarp and kind of, you know, have the fire drying us off and stuff. But uh, the best we're probably going to be able to do is like stand in here under the tarp and then having the fire right there. It's just kind of the way it is. So yeah, we're going to, we're going to do that. And uh, I gotta start a fire pretty soon here. Because I'm getting wet. I need to dry off. So then, when you kind of pull it back like this, maybe tie up some more ropes to the top there to affix it, and then yeah, yeah. we got a tarp. Okay. Cool. And then we can like... Like that. <sighs> okay. All right. We got this tarp in the lean-to configuration. Uh, you tarpaulin heads out there <laughs> will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, well, there's really just kind of like one thing to do. A couple of buddies in the woods under a tarp in the rain. And that's into a little beer action, breaking oh, yeah. the beverage center today. Oh, yeah. Sean, do you want to go first? Tell the people that's really, it's kind of an interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for a uh, spooky season. It is. We're in the we're in the heat. We're in the heat. Spooky we're, we're in heat. It was Friday the thirteenth, not too <laughs> long ago, and uh, so we're in heat. Yeah. Um. So I got this spooky one. It's a. It, oh, it's actually not Ecto. It's an Echo cooler. Oh, uh, legally distinct. Yeah, legally distinct. Uh, you know, Here Ghostbusters. You Ghostbusters beer. That's it's pretty a, cool. It's a fruity something. I don't know. Maybe it tastes like slime. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Cool. And uh, I have something a little low key. I, I, I have a couple things to drink, but I'm starting it out with a Modella 
Negra. I love the Mexican dark ambers Boom. lately. They've just been treating me really well. Super low alcohol. This is exactly what I want right now. I got a six pack of this. I'm just going to drink the six pack of this low alcohol beer. It's like the perfect time of year for this kind of beer. Um, and, uh, and then I got a something extra that I'll break into later that I'm sure is ridiculous. It's, it's, it's a little ridiculous, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. Um, so, hey, right, cheers, buddy. All right, cheers. Boom. I pre-opened open. mine because it's, you know. Yes, all right, here we go. Oh, so good. Holy crap. That's good? It kind of tastes like an ecto cooler. Wow. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's orangey. If you don't remember that, if you're too young for that, I don't know if you have any. I don't, I don't <laughs> think there's anyone in the demographics that watch this channel that yeah. is too young for. What was it? High C. High C High made C ecto coolers. Ecto -coolers yeah. This is very reminiscent. Good job, Froth. Froth Brewing. Good job, Thanks. Froth Thanks, Brewing. Froth. Where's Froth out of? They're close ish, maybe? Where are they out of? Um, Buffalo. Oh, okay. They're on Military Road. Ah. In Buffalo, New York. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good old Buffalo. Look, Look at that. Go Bills. <laughs> Go Schmills. Go Bills. <laughs> so, this is going to be it for now. I imagine in a little while we'll probably start that fire. Oh, yeah. Um, we got to go get. My yeah, dry wood. yeah. We got a little bit of dry wood. We were looking for more on the way in because you, 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 know, you see the the wood on the on the edge of people's driveways none they let us down they let us down they let us down uh so I that's to, a bummer i had to buy expensive wood from a gas station like a loser like a loser like an imbecile like an imbecile uh but also like so this this area we're, we're in was kind of logged recently and so there's tons of wood everywhere now not all of it is appropriate <laughs> to put in a fire we're no. talking like giant logs and and you know trees and stuff like that but there's we'll, stuff. Well, there's stuff. There's we'll, stuff. We'll, we'll make do. Yeah. We'll make do. So we'll have the fire. Uh, so this this place, um, aside from being logged, is also just trashed by <laughs> previous campers. Um, on the way in, we drove by a campsite. We thought somebody was camping there. No, just a smoldering campfire in, in a site. Thankfully, it was in a ring. It was in a ring, but so, still yeah. just smoldering campfire. We're like, and there's oh, garbage that's, that and, sucks. and burnt up cans in it. That's how they disposed of their beer cans. Yeah, well, no, I'm talking about the first one. Oh. And then, well, oh. th so we saw the first fire, and we come in, and there's a second smoldering fire, and this one um, yeah. had, had all the cans and garbage. There was, like, bottles of paint on a Like little, table. like, neon glow-in-the-dark paint um, and cups and ping-pong balls. And I'm just coming to the realization now, all around the campfire were these little plastic lids that like at a restaurant, if you get a side sauce, yeah, so little plastic little lids, ramekins. guaranteed jello shots. Oh yeah, definitely. Guaranteed, like it was a whole part, they had glow sticks over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all sorts of things. So I was wondering what were those from, guaranteed they're from jello shots. Oh yeah, jello shots. So they shots. were beer pong in it, painting each other's bodies, yeah. drinking twisted teas are over there, oh. in the, and they were, they were having so fun. So they know how to party, they know but how they to party. don't know how to clean up after <laughs> <Yeah>. themselves. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, it's half the equation. Yeah. So that was also a smoldering, so, so two smoldering fire pits here. This is, for those of you not aware, New York State, there are state forests that have um, campsites you can just pull up to, first come, first serve. Uh, you're also allowed to backtrack into the woods and kind of do dispersed camping if, if you so, if you see fit, which I like to do sometimes, but sometimes it's nice to come to an established site. Um, they usually have nice views, places for hammocks and tents, you know, kind of already ready to go, but they're also trashed by people that can easily access them and then don't and know, then they leave and, and then yeah. they leave and um just yeah. leave stuff people suck yeah all right well we're gonna we're gonna hang out here for a little while uh continue enjoying the beverage center that we just broke into oh yeah um, well now the beverage center is just open all night it's just open all so night it's, open, all it's night. open we broke into it we uh you know we, no we got the booty we got the booty <laughs> <laughs> all right cheers buddy all right cheers All right, well, Sean and I sat under the tarp, starting to get a little dark. We uh, set up Sean's tent. It's a nice new tent. It's really oh nice. God. Yep. I uh, I have my sunglasses on for no reason, just to make the world look pink, and that's kind of fun for me. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take the walk back to the car through the forest here. 
uh, grab the bundle of wood Sean bought and uh, start a little bit of a fire. Uh, as you can see here, we got lots of wood we can process and stuff like that, uh, but it's all wet. So it'll be nice to start off with a dry bundle and we'll have a bit of fundle. Okay, we made it back to Sean's car and he's got the wood. I, have, I still have my sleeping bag and I grabbed some extra water. Uh, and now we're, we're going back. We're very alone out here. We've seen a couple cars go down the forest road, but nothing like... Not too bad. Not too bad, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I was going to say a small campfire. It's that smoldering campfire <laughs> yep. over there. Yep. I don't, there's nothing we can even do to like put it out. It's it's raining. <laughs> I don't have like a bucket or anything. It's just people not properly extinguishing their fires. Oy. Sleeping bag's getting a little wet here. All right, back into the forest where we belong. <laughs> where we belong. Okay, time to light the fire in the rain. This is gonna be a little tricky. All of the wood is soaked. All of the kindling is soaked. Everything is soaked. I'm soaked. I'm soaked. Lighter is soaked, it's not even a light. Um, <laughs> so what I have here, I have some birch bark, but what I think might be better, because it burns a little bit longer, is I got some duct tape. Oh, oh yeah, I got some nice, I got three rolled up pieces of duct tape. If you're not familiar, you just take a roll of duct tape, kind of roll it up, and you get these little like duct tape tubes. Uh, and you can light them on fire and they stay lit and they burn pretty decently. I find it's the best way to light a fire in the rain. Learned that trick from Corporal's Corner many, many years ago. Shout out. So, I'm gonna light these up. I'm gonna make a little like heat triangle, get some fire going and slowly move these, uh, th these this batch of kindling. Oh, you know what you're doing. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Acting like there's now. Okay. Mm. Where'd my flame go? Yeah, okay. maybe. Got that one going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that one right on it, so it kind of like also gets lit. like slight wind enough to like make it hmm. difficult. I don't even feel the wind, but my lighter does. There we go. Let's see if I can get inside here. Oh, a double boy. Oh yeah, dual wield. Look at this guy, go. Darth Maul over here. Yeah. We'll be careful. Ah, look at you. Okay. All right, so we have, look at that. We have the trifecta look going there. Look at the there. triangle, oh the my. triangle. Oh my. Okay. So, start off with some of this, crack it up, and I'm going to put it kind of like on the sides, like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to let that burn a little bit. I want the, the duct tape to really kind of flame up. In the meantime, you kind of want to like have the effect of the flame drying out the kindling a little bit. Oh, sure. So I'm gonna put that kind of like up there. I'll leave that there for now. We might need that in a minute. It smells. Yeah, you can really smell it. You can really smell the duct tape. Yeah. 
this uh, pit is full of trash. There are <laughs> butts, there's cans, all sorts of crap uh, that I get to look at while I wait for the fire. It's a good atmosphere. Yeah, it's good. All right, so those other two lights are kind of getting a little iffy. Let me move. Move this, start to move it over the flames. It'll slowly start to get the kindling going. If it were a birch bark, you could probably do it, but birch bark burns so quickly yeah. that I don't think there'd be enough time to do what I'm trying to, to do. To dry here. out this little kindling yeah. again. I think one of the flames went out actually. Huh. The first flame I lit went out. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Yeah. I'll check back in in a second here. We've kind of been struggling with this fire for, I don't know, half hour or oh, so. <laughs> we finally got it. It's going good. So I feel very confident now in saying, and there you have a fire. There you have a fire. <laughs> but man, that was a big pain. The uh, duct tape kind of ended up going out. I busted out the birch bark. That was okay. Then I took the bag, the birch bark was in, and that kind of helped us going uh, a little bit. And then Sean busted into the dry wood that he uh, brought and some of the smaller little pieces of that. He like shaved some stuff off. That didn't really. I tried. That, that didn't tried. Work, but I broke some bigger pieces. Yeah, opinion. then got some bigger pieces, and the drier pieces are kind of what helped us out. Yeah. Man, it is just everything is just soaked to the bone out here. It's been raining for a few days. Yeah, anyway. and it's just constantly raining on the fire. Yeah, right? and it's constantly raining, but it's good now. Yeah, it's good. We got some good coals going. Some... I can Ooh. feel the heat. It's been going like this for some minutes now. For minutes. For minutes. For minutes and minutes. Like fives of minutes. Fives of minutes. It's pretty, you can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, I'm getting hungry. Sean's getting hungry. We're uh -huh. getting hungry. It's getting darker out here. Peckish. I'm a little peckish. I'm peckish. Yeah. Yeah. I could go for a smack roll. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. Yeah, but uh, it's probably about twice as dark as the camera's showing. But uh, yeah, here we go. End of the yeah. night. The rain is still happening. It's let up a little bit. You can still hear it on the tarp, maybe but it's maybe half of what it's been all day. It's just kind of like a, a drizzle now. I don't know if it's gonna come back. Sean, let's see if Sean falls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a good clip. <laughs> Sean, Sean, let's see Sean surfing. Oh, 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 oh God, never. Surf into the fire. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're gonna eat soon, I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, we got log on deck. <laughs> we're gonna we're cooking this log, the succulent log meat. It's, uh, log it's meat. on the grill. Ooh. Nice oh yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to fold that into a pita. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, heat its unders. Get its get its unders all toasted. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. It's time to eat. I'm very excited to eat. I have something in here. I'll just tell you what it is. It's not that. It's not that crazy. Uh, it, it's it's uh, scrambled eggs, which I've already cooked. I'm gonna heat them up on the fire, and I chopped up some uh, uncured pepperoni and, and put it in there. And I'm gonna add some bacon as well, and make myself a little uh, some, some breakfast burrito kind of things going on here. So uh, here we go. Right, put this on next to Sean's. Kind of like right there. I just want to heat it up. Not cook it, just heat it up. Ooh, I'm so excited. As you can see, it's still it's still raining. Like everything's wet. It's raining. Look at the drops. Look at the high detail drops. Uh, but we're still cooking. We're still going. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this off here. And I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on this uh, on this here cutting board. And uh, see what we got. So let's, uh, let's see what we got. Let's do this with one hand. 
And you can just, you know, stop it up. It's fine. Let's see what we got. Oh, you secured that. I secured it so good, dude. dude. I'm all about security. Mm -hmm. My eggs. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that's looking good. Ooh, it's... Oh, it's ready to go. Oh, that's ready to go. Okay, let's put that Ooh. in a tortilla and uh, forget our troubles. And there you have it. I got two <laughs> pieces of bacon. The bacon's actually room temperature, forest temperature. I didn't cook that. I cooked that at home. Um, I didn't feel like messing with it out here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to roll this up. Go to town. Look at, it, look at the detail. <laughs> look at the... Look at the look at the detail. Alright, well see you later. Yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. Alright, I'm gonna eat this. You guys don't need to see me eat this. I wanna eat it. <sighs> For the very first time in small plots history, maybe the history of any camping channel ever, I think it's time to bust in to the next part of the beverage center, and that is a <laughs> box of wine, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Oh, okay. That that <laughs> got all over my shoe. I wish I, I can't see the the light is facing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not going directly down, let's just say that. <laughs> it's coming out the side. <laughs> it's going... There's wine everywhere. This is going really well. <laughs> There's wine everywhere now. I just hear it pouring on the ground. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> it's on it's definitely on the top of my cooler <laughs> and on the side of my <laughs> my cup there. But so uh, alright, cheers. Who's that? <laughs> oh yeah that's pretty good that's good wine in the woods all right i gotta clean that up <laughs> things are falling there's wine everywhere oh it's dripping all down my cooler that's that's what happens when you can't see what you're doing and you're in the dark all right yeah we got a nice uh nice pinot noir mm. that's what you want ah it's everywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. I got this shortwave radio. Finally got something on it. I'm speaking in tongues. I need to learn how to use this thing. Okay. I got, I got a, I got a quick question for some of you, uh, big heads these some of you big brains out there what's uh what's going on with that with the the rings it looks like there's five like smaller trees or something that came together to form this bigger tree like how did that like what's going on there you see like the you know like that and that and that and that and that what's going on there What's happening? Let me know down in the comments. Even if you have a joke answer, like, or something, you know, that's fine too. <laughs> well, the, uh, the night is getting pretty late and uh, you may have noticed that I haven't set up anything to sleep on tonight. And uh, that's because this, is where I'm sleeping tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my sleeping pad and I have the tarp that I was gonna use as a normal tarp. because I, I brought my hammock, that was my original plan. Um, put that down on the ground, put my sleeping pad down right here. Boom, got myself a bed.
there is bed for the night. A little haphazard. It's pretty good though. It's gonna keep me dry, just like this tarp has uh, kept us dry all day. Got my little uh, duct tape in the middle there. That's for good luck. Little belly button. There's the box wine, just to keep me company. That's gonna that that cardboard is gonna be done by the morning. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Looking forward to sleep. Yeah. Comfy cozy down here on the ground underneath this tarp here. Should be a comfy sleep. I'm uh, I'm pumped. I haven't slept out just kind of in in the natural world. I mean, you know, I have a hammock. That's like really the only difference. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm suspended, but uh, now I'm not suspended. I'm on the ground. So slugs and spiders and. All, all manner of vagrancy can jump at me in the night, uh, but unless anything like like truly distasteful happens in the night, I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in just a second. That was an incredibly comfortable, cozy night. Sleeping on the ground there. Uh, now it's time. Sean had a great night in his new tent too, didn't you, Sean? Oh yeah. Yeah, he loved it. He's having a great time. Oh, yeah. uh, anyway, so a giant log on the fire is still smoking. We don't want to be like those other people who leave smoldering campfire. So I'm going to go to the water, fill up this water bottle a bunch, and uh, it's going to keep dousing it. It's going to keep. We're just going to keep dousing it and dousing it until it is smoking no more. Let's go. The sun's coming out. Ah, ah, forgot the sun was a thing. Get, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Ah, oh God. Oh, I, miss, I miss the overcast. I'm warm. As soon as the sun comes out, I'm starting to sweat it out. Sweat it out. Uh, so yeah, it worked mostly good. We'll probably do a couple. I can't even see anything. The sun's just in my eyes. Uh, we'll probably do a couple more uh, just to finish it off. But there it is. Pretty good and drenched. Ha! Huh. Forgot the sun existed. Now it looks like the rain's starting to come down a little bit. Perfect timing. I just took the tarp down and then gusts of wind came and I was just blowing the tarp everywhere. So that was, that made, that made the job much easier. Uh, yeah, so let's, we gotta hurry up so we're not uh, got with our pants down, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I just don't, I just don't wanna get wet from the rain. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, well, too late. It's just full on raining now. I, I moved the tarp. Uh, the wind stopped. It was only around for when I was trying to take the tarp down and it made it much more difficult. Yeah, it's just full on raining now. No shelter. Covering my stuff for now. Uh, definitely switched up the order of operations. Okay, we're all packed up. About to get out of here. I got my sleeping bag kind of haphazardly tied to the pack there. Uh, the fire no smolder, no heat, no nothing. It's juicy. We got a juicy fire pit. So, uh, grab my cooler here. Oh, there goes the sleeping bag. See, when I said haphazardly, I wasn't kidding. Okay. Okay, get out of the rain here. Back at the car. There's Sean's getting naked in the background. Hi. Woke up to no rain, and it rained, and the sun came out. It beat me opposite order, I can't remember. And then, oh man, uh, lips are all messed up. Ooh, well, lips are all day. messed up, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. We'll take care of that later. Oh, 
Well, I think that was, a, that was a fine camp, Sean. What would you say? Oh, it was to the camp. Uh, the word I would choose is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It was, camp. Fine camp. It was wonderful camp. Yeah. And it was a glorious camp. Sean, do you have anything to say to the people here? Oh, you know, make sure to wash as usual, and uh, don't trash the forest. For real, this place is disgusting. It's <laughs> There's garbage everywhere. There's a table. There's a foldable table. Yeah, if I can get it in that. Yeah, there, there. I get it. It's right there. Brought a whole table out here and left right, it. Right, right. Where's my finger? Right there. Right there. <laughs> so yeah, just just be respectful <sighs> and be sexy. Respectful and sexy. I I agree. Yeah. Uh, well, well, thank you for joining me, Sean. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday. We're back, baby. We're back on the Tuesdays. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. Well, thanks for uh, watching here till the end, everybody. And I'll catch you on that. Seriously, clean up your campsite, Nexty. Mm -hmm. ah.